Hi everyone. So this is a follow-up to the other reading that I just did because I didn't get to my main message in the last reading. I ended up channeling a, just a whole bunch of other information and kind of got sidetracked a little bit. So I'm doing this reading as a follow-up to that one to let you guys know that this message that I've been channeling the past week or so, I, I basically, I keep seeing this woman that's inexperienced She's, she doesn't know anything about witchcraft or psychic work, but she might think that she does. And I feel like she's going to fuck around and find out basically is what I'm getting. And we're going to look into that for others. She's not going to do any of those things. She's just manipulative and she's going to, she has some tactic to manipulate this person to keep them small, to keep them stuck, to keep them blocked from from certain people, certain situations, things that might actually be beneficial to them. So I don't want to reiterate too much what I was getting in that last reading. Because I know like most of you are probably just here for the for the follow-up. You probably already watched that first reading, but for those that are just clicking on, I was basically getting it's like it's someone's friend or family member. I don't even really feel like it's rom a romantic connection. But it feels like she wants to keep this person away from his his potential romantic partner or from, from abundance. It's like she wants to keep him kind of stuck. She's trying to block two people from coming together. And there's multiple reasons for that. For one, she might be misreading someone. She might misunderstand someone. And so she thinks that she's actually protecting this friend or family member of hers, but this woman's not really very intuitive. So she doesn't really, it's, it's like, she, she's like misreading someone. She's misjudging someone and making false assumptions about somebody. And she's gossiping. She likes to gossip and she's telling this man like, Oh, stay away from her or stay away from him. Like you don't, you know, this person's bad. This person's, you know, this or that, but it's, it's like, she doesn't actually really know this person. Just to reiterate really quick, and I'm going to get into the rest of the reading. Just give me a sec. Um, she also wants to keep him where he's at. She doesn't want him to change. She doesn't want him to evolve. She doesn't want him to find himself. She doesn't want him to develop that emotional depth because she's a very young soul. And he's actually a very old soul, but he's he's had all these kind of fake or maybe shallow people around him for so long that this man has kind of been tricked into believing that he's a young soul as well, or that he's not evolved or that he doesn't have that depth. It's like, he's not used to being around people that have that emotional depth, or he hasn't gotten the chance to explore that emotional depth within, within himself because of the kind of people he's been around. And I feel like she just, she wants to control him. Even if she cares about him, it's like this person, this friend or family member of his, that's blocking him. She wants to control him and keep him stuck because she resonates with this image. She resonates with who he currently is even though there's a lot more to him, there's, there's more depth, there's more passion, this drive for life that he hasn't had a chance to fully explore. Um, and I think she's kind of worried, like when he explores those things, it's like, she's, she doesn't have that same drive. She might be fun, but whatever, but she, she doesn't have that same depth. And so I, I think she wants to kind of keep him just where he's at, like, so that they keep being close friends or, or family members or whatever. So they keep resonating with each other. It's like she doesn't want him to outgrow her, but his soul wants to outgrow her, to be honest. And it doesn't mean he would have to cut her out necessarily, but just that I think his perspective might change and he might set stronger boundaries with her. And he might start recognizing that she's been not only blocking love, like real love from coming into his life, but she's also been blocking like opportunities. Um, she's been kind of keeping him. I just feel like she's very manipulative, but he might not realize how manipulative she's been. Uh, and I feel like she's kind of kept him stuck a little bit, stuck in his head or just it's like she just gives bad advice. She gossips and her intention is kind of selfish. I mean, yes, there is that intention to protect him. Um, in that video I was getting, it's like almost like he's in this box and it's like, she knows what she wants for his life. Like she does want him to meet certain goals, but she doesn't want him out of his comfort zone. She doesn't want him to step out of that box and go down his own path or it's like she has like the next five years. I keep hearing the next five years like planned out for him, like what that's going to look like for for him and how she fits into it. It's like just a very controlling, possessive energy. 
And I almost feel like this man has been in this box so long, he doesn't even realize he's in a box. He doesn't really even realize he's being controlled like this. Because um, there's other people he's meant to meet outside this box. There's other opportunities he's meant to have outside these box. These are soul contracts. These are things that are destined for him. And if he stays in this box, he's going to miss out on those opportunities. But, um, and again, he doesn't have to cut this woman out, but he has to learn to develop his intuition and stand his his ground stand his ground like stand up for himself uh set boundaries with her like he he's really it's like he's got this blindfold on and he really needs to free himself from this but anyway i want to get into the i, I if you're just clicking onto this one i would go click the other one and watch that one first because i already reiterated all that but I want to get into the other message, which is what I've been channeling the past week, is that for some, and not for all, this is for like 80 or 90% of the people in this energy group, I'm getting three, it's the same energy group, but I'm getting three different storylines. For some, I, I feel like this woman is an inexperienced witch. She has probably never done witchcraft before, or she's just now getting into witchcraft, and I feel like she's going to go pay someone to do spell work. Or she's going to try to do spell work herself and it's going to backfire on her and she might actually end up opening a demonic portal. Because um, I kept getting something and bear with me if this isn't if that particular story for like, oh, no, like, I don't, I don't like if, if, if you're that person and like, you know, you have like a friend or family member that you think might be controlling you and are like, well, she doesn't do witchcraft. So this isn't for me. Like, just bear with me because there's a few different uh, variations of this story. So there's I'm getting three different storylines here. So I'm going to go over the first one first. So for those that are um, in that group where this woman is actually considering doing witchcraft, it's like she doesn't know what she's doing. And I just keep feeling like she's going to open a portal. She's going to open like she's going to summon something. She doesn't want to summon something. She does not know how to get rid of because I feel a sense of entitlement. I feel like a very, um, this woman has a very, like she thinks she's the shit. She just, she thinks she's all that. And I, I think there's like this sense of entitlement where I just feel like she's, um, you can't do that with, with, with spirit guys. You can't do that with spirits. It's not a good idea. You do not go to a God or a goddess or an angel or any type of spirit with that sense of like, oh, you better, you better do this for me. Like this, I deserve this. And I feel like she's going to rub someone the wrong way. She's going to rub a, a, a spirit, a spirit the wrong way. And that last video, you know, like watch that video if you, if you haven't, if, you, if you're just seeing this one, I'd go watch that other one too. Cause I was basically feeling like she is a very young soul. This man is a very old soul, but he does not know that he's an old soul yet because he has not had the chance to explore that side of himself fully. He has not had the environment, the people needed to bring out that side of him fully. And he's going to be really pleasantly surprised um, by it, it's like his soul is just trying to come through. There's this whole other side of him. Um, and I feel like this woman plays on his insecurities. She plays on his abandonment issues. Um, anyway, we'll get into that in a minute, but but yeah, I feel like she's going to come to the spirit guide. I feel like there might be a spirit in particular that she's researching, but it's like a darker God or a darker goddess. And it's one of those, there's like certain spirits that you just don't mess with. If, if you're, if you're, especially if you're new, there's like certain spirits that you don't want to go to. If you, if you don't approach them the right way, there are certain spirit, like spirits, like gods and goddesses, a very high ranking that you go to them the wrong way, they're going to fuck your shit up. And I'm honestly seeing for her, that's probably what's going to end up happening because she's going to come with this bratty entitled attitude. Like, oh, I, I run this show. I'm, I'm the queen bitch over here. Like I, I get what I want. Like, and there's nothing wrong with like being a little, not like, like sassy in like a positive way. There's nothing wrong with, you know, being confident and being like, yeah, I'm going to manifest what I want. I'm going to make the world my oyster. But this woman is someone who thinks that she can control other people too. It's not, it's not just, I'm going to go after my goals and, and make the world my oyster. It's, she's the type of woman, like I run the show. I'm, I'm in control of everybody. I'm, I'm the boss and she's not the boss. She's, she doesn't have the life experience. Sorry. I mean, I mean, sorry, but she doesn't have the life experience to be a genuine boss. Like to really be a leader, you need that depth. You need that empathy. You need to be able to see multiple perspectives, to open your mind, to have that deep life experience. She doesn't have that. Whatever. I don't know what she's been through, but I don't, you know, I, I don't, I don't feel like she's at that level. Um, but anyway, her attitude, her entitlement, she's going to call on, 
she's going to call in a spirit and I, I feel like either she is going to call on Either the spirit's not even going to come in at all, it's just going to ignore her and she's going to summon a demon instead and it's it's going to kind of teach her a lesson. And it's honestly, I hate to say it, but it's kind of a lesson she's going to deserve to learn. It's going to be on her. Um, or she's... Or I, f I feel like maybe she will call the actual spirit, but it's going to be pissed off about how she came to it. And it's it's not going to be happy and it's it's not... I don't think her wish is going to be granted. I think it's really going to backfire on her. Because um, I actually feel like she might... I think she wants to do breakup work. I think she wants to... She's trying to protect this friend or family member, and she thinks she's doing the right thing. But again, there's also this... It's like she wants to keep him small. She wants to control him. This man doesn't realize that he's being manipulated by this woman. He doesn't... He needs to re he needs to step back and and use his intuition and recognize how manipulative she is. Um, like I wouldn't feel sorry for this woman honestly because it's like if you if someone's trying to do black magic behind your back they're trying to separate you from someone who you know might actually be really good for you like I wouldn't feel bad for a woman like that that's that's trying to do that to someone. I feel like she's going to be exposed too, possibly. Look, I think he's going to find out that she's doing this. Bear with me because like I said, for some of you, this person isn't going to do witchcraft. For some of you, this is just general man manipulation. And we'll get to that, like how she's manipulating this man, like what she's saying, what she's doing. Um, there's, the, you know, take it as it resonates. If you are in the energy group where she's done witchcraft, I'm getting that she's done it before too. And you might not have known. Um... If you're this man that's like has this friend or family member that's controlling, she's she might have done spells before and you didn't know about it. She might have separated you from people in the past, like people you were dating or people you wanted to get to know, people she just didn't like, didn't deem good enough for you, um, or opportunities. Like if you had like an opportunity to like move away somewhere and she's like, oh no, fuck that. Like he's got to stay where he's at. Like I don't want a long distance, you know, friend, family member. Like I want him to stay where around here. Like, I, I just feel like if she does, if she is doing witchcraft, she's done similar before. She's at least considered doing similar before. Um, let's get into the other storyline. So, so for others, I feel like, and I know it sounds like I'm just talking, but I'm channeling. I, I pick up all these energies, uh, cause I've been feeling this for like a week and it just keeps coming through strongly. I'm like, I probably should have done this reading earlier, but protect yourself, do protection spells. Do protection spells on yourself, on this person that you're connecting with, um, that, you know, she wants to separate you to. Like, I would really, you know, put your protection up, set boundaries. This man, like, he needs to be smarter with this, this woman because she's going to manipulate him. For some, it's not... For some, it's not witchcraft that she's going to do. For others, I feel like it's just general manipulation because I feel like this man, I almost feel like this woman's like distracted lately. Like she's not as focused on blocking this man from abundance lately. Like she's kind of got her own stuff going on or she's maybe there's like something she's like working towards. It's like there's something that's distracting her a bit lately. But I feel like this man needs to be really be smart because... I almost feel like he might want to go to her and ask for advice and it's not going to go well. She's going to create a block and it's almost self-sabotage. Like if you go to someone that you know isn't going to believe in you, they're not going to have your back. Like they're going to try to block you from something good for whatever reason. Like why would you keep going to someone like that for advice? Why would you trust someone like that for advice? You know, like I said, this man is an old soul. Even if he doesn't know it, he actually really is. Um, she's a very young soul like he's he's more evolved than her so it makes no sense for him to go to someone that's like a younger soul for advice you know what I mean like I'm not saying it's bad to seek advice from people but just it, it's not not from her um I feel like she I feel like she plays on his abandonment issues for one thing It's almost like, God, it's almost like one of those like abusers, except she's doing it in such a subtle way that she's able to get away with it and he doesn't see what's happening and he doesn't see how abusive she is. 
But like, you know, like those abusers, like if you're in like an abusive relationship and there's that person that's like, you know, like the, the abuser will always tell you like, oh, like no one else is going to love you. Like you're going to be all alone if you leave me. Like no one's going to want you. No one's going to have your back like I do. Uh, you know, everyone's just going to abandon you in the end or they're not going to once they see who you are, they're not going to want you anymore. Like, I feel like this man believes those things about himself. And I, I almost feel like it's a big part of it is because of her. But I feel like she's so manipulative that she's she's made him believe these things about himself in very subtle ways. Like she's made him think that this Queen of Cups would abandon him, that she would hurt him, that it would just it wouldn't work. It'd be drama like she's made him think the worst about this woman, about this connection. And it's simply not true. She's. I mean, I, you know, she's possibly misreading this woman and she is trying to protect him, but it, it's also, there's nothing to protect him from. She's actually just blocking him from something that's really good. Uh, I also feel like, I just feel like she does this. I just feel like she does this because it's like, she doesn't want, she doesn't want him to grow and evolve without her. She doesn't want to, him to recognize what she's been doing. She's very sneaky. And I feel like she does it in a way that comes off as genuinely supportive, but I feel like his intuition tries to tell him like, hey, this isn't support. This is not a friend that like tears you down. If you like go to your friend and you're like, hey, I want to ask this person out or I want to hang out with this person and your friend's like, oh, that's not going to go anywhere. And like your friend doesn't even like really know the other person. It's like, why are you going to put your friend down like that? That's not like a good friend. You know what I mean? Like. Like, if my friend comes to me and, like, wants advice, like, I'm going to be like, hey, go for it. Like, even if it, you know, whatever, just just go for it. Take a leap of faith. Like, you want your friends to be happy, right? Um, but, yeah, it's like she manipulates his insecurities, his weaknesses, his fears, his abandonment issues. But, again, she does it in such a subtle way that it's hard for him to pinpoint it. It's like something intuitively, like, his soul feels like something is not right there. But it's it's like he doesn't know... He doesn't understand that energy here. He doesn't know where it's coming from. Does that make sense? It's almost like, because I don't, I don't think she, I don't explain this energy that I feel off her. It's like, I feel like she's the drama, but she, it's like that. I don't know if she's narcissistic, but I do get that like very social butterfly kind of energy from her where it's like. She might try to paint other people as the drama when really she's the drama. Um, and again, I think she just finds such subtle ways to like make him doubt himself and make him doubt his connections or make him. And unless, of course, like the thing is, I think that she doesn't. How do I explain this? It's like this friend or family member wants him with a certain type of person. She wants him with someone who's submissive and easy to control and. She wants someone where she could be that she wants to be the dominant one in his in all his it just in general in his life. It's very strange, but it, it's like she she doesn't want him with um how do I explain it? She doesn't want to see him with someone who has that emotional depth that that passion that drive for life. Like they would be a power couple. You know what I mean? Like where like they would they would grow together. They would evolve together. They would support each other. They'd be like almost like best friends. Like they would have a very emotionally deep connection, like mutual support, mutual love. This this person, this woman doesn't want to see this man with someone like that. She wants to see him with someone who's average or submissive or naive. Like she wants to see him with someone that's like going to let her continue to call all the shots in his life. It's almost like this toxic friend or family member. She's like, she wants to like choose the girl for him because like if, if he's with like a, you know, if he's with a girl that's like very weak minded or insecure, it's very easy for her to come in and like control things and like dictate like who he's with and how they interact. It's like, she wants like control. It's, it's almost like a, I don't know if she's like a psychic vampire, but it's just really weird to me, like the amount of control she wants over this man's life. Like she wants to choose his entire life for him. I almost wonder if she's like living vicariously through him because she can't meet these goals on her own. It's it's just such a weird energy because it's like, I don't feel like she's in love with him. Like I'm not feeling a jealous energy. I'm not feeling a romantic energy. 
I just see this man with like this woman that's kind of like submissive or timid or insecure. And like, I see this other woman that's like super dominant and that that's like that queen of swords. And she's like, oh yeah, I want him with someone like that. I want him with someone who's like submissive and insecure. I don't, you know what I mean? Cause she wants to come in and call the shots. She doesn't want him to be with that queen of cups or to be, you know, friends or lovers or whatever with that queen of cups we channeled because it's like, because that woman's also dominant because that, not, not dominant in a bad way, but dominant in the sense that she has, um, passion and depth. She has opinions. She's, you know, interesting. Like she has a life. Um, so, you know, you go, you know, the queen of swords goes and talks shit to the queen of cups. The queen of cups might be very empathetic and gentle and loving, but she's still going to stand up for herself. Whereas if he's dating an insecure woman, she, the insecure woman's not going to stand up for herself. She's going to let, let this woman bully her. It's like high school bullying. It's like, it's almost like high school bullying. Like she, she likes to, it's like a click. Like she likes to, it's very clicky. I don't, it's a very bad energy. Um, But I feel like she's kind of blocking him from seeing the potential that's with this Queen of Cups. Like there's, or she's making him feel, it, it's almost, he really needs to like learn to like develop his own opinions, his own intuition to find himself, to explore himself. And it's hard to do that with someone like that around. But um, with like this Queen of Swords around, it's like, it's a block for him, I feel. But um. I'm getting something else here, which is like so strange. And I'm just, just bear with me. Cause like I said, I'm channeling it. I'm visualizing it. I'm seeing it. I'm getting the information and I'm trying to word it properly. But, um, God, this woman is just so controlling. Like, God, this man needs to like recognize what's happening to him. Like I said, she's not only going to block real love from coming into his life. She's also going to block like business opportunities, like really good things that could happen for him. Um, whether she blocks it by keeping him in this trap mindset, or if she actually like, she's very controlling. It's a very, it's not a good energy. This man needs to get out from under her thumb. He needs to recognize what's happening here. And I get if you're, if it's like a friend or like, if it's, if this is like a mom, like a family member, whoever this is to you, or like, if you're this man, I get that it's hard to cut someone out. You don't have to necessarily cut her out, but you have to, you have to stand up for yourself. You have to stand up for your connections, for people, for what you want in your life. You know what I mean? Like you have to really not let someone control you like this. You need to recognize what's going on and use your intuition more here. Cause it's like, like you don't want to fuck your whole life up for this one person. Like you have so many blessings and so much abundance that's meant to come your way. And if you allow her to control you, you're, you're not going to be able to see those blessings that are right in front of your face. You're going to block yourself from receiving those blessings. So like you need to recognize what's going on around you, tune into the energy, tune into what's happening around you. Um, and like I said, if you can't block, if you can't just like let her go, that's fine. I mean, at least, I don't know, like at the very least, like I said, set boundaries and stop telling her things. Stop going to her for advice when you know that she's going to sabotage you. Um, for some, I was going to say she's also, it's really a weird energy that I'm feeling, but like, I feel like she's also telling this man what his type is or what his type should be. It's so weird, but it's like, I just see him with like these like insecure or like timid girls or like kind of weak minded girls or kind of like like they don't have integrity or they don't have boundaries or they don't um they don't speak their truth or their mind it's like it's like I just see him with these kind of weak-minded girls and it keeps him stagnant but it keeps this this toxic friend or family member of his it keeps her in control of his life like I was saying it's like she wants to control who he dates and who he doesn't date but it, it's so weird because it's almost like she's like trying to or she has brainwashed him into thinking that's his type and it's actually not his type um because like I said it's like she likes those insecure weak-minded girls because she can still be the dominant friend dominant family member she can still call all the shots because a woman like that's not going to challenge her a woman like that is gonna just sit back and and watch her keep him stagnant watch her keep him stuck she's not going to say anything to, to him he's she's not going to She's going to be like, okay, like, okay, sure. Like I, I see you manipulating him, but I'm, it's not my place. I'm not going to, I'm not going to 
you know, give him my opinion. I'm not going to try to support him. I'm not going to try to help him evolve. Um, you know, like there's, there's no potential to be a power couple with a, with a weak minded woman like that. Um, and again, that's what this, that's what this toxic friend or family member wants. She doesn't want to see him be a power couple with someone else. Uh, she doesn't want to see him grow and evolve and, and be everything he wants to be and get everything that he wants to have. It's really sad actually. But, but yeah, it's so weird. Cause it's like, she's brainwashed him into feeling like that's his type. Um, cause and it's, she knows that's the manipulative thing. She knows she's keeping him stuck. She knows it. She can tell that these women are insecure or weak minded or, you know, like I said, they're, they're not, he's not going to grow with them. He might be, you know, somewhat happy with them, but he's never going to be really in love with them. He's never going to reach his highest potential with a woman like that. And again, that's exactly what that queen of swords types wants. She wants him to stay in that little box that she has him in and never evolve, never grow, never get everything that he's meant to have in life. Um, she wants that control, but it's like his soul is telling him like, wait a minute, like you don't like girls like that. Like you don't like weak minded, insecure, timid girls. Like you don't like girls that are let you walk all over them. Like, <laughs> like you, like his, his, his soul is like, his soul is like telling him like, no, like I don't resonate with girls like that. But it's like, she's getting in his head and she's like convincing him like, oh no, this is like, this woman looks like she's, um, uh, what is she, what does she even say? I think it's different for everyone. So take it as it resonates. Like there's a lot of different stories here, but it's like, she's telling him like, like a, like a woman like that is going to make the best wife for you. Or the a woman like that is going to, um, help you evolve the most. But, but he knows it's not true. Like intuitively, he's like, why would a woman that's that weak minded and insecure and has no opinions of her own? Why would someone like that, like, be a support system for me? Why would someone like that, like help me grow and evolve and be the man I want to be? Like, there's no real depth there. There's no real emotion. There's no real loyalty there. It's very surface level relationships. Um, and so it's so strange because it's like, I just keep hearing her like say like, oh, this is your type. Like this is, these girls make the best kind of wives or these girls make the best kind of girlfriends or, um, you know, this girl is super sweet. Like I, you know, you, you like people like that, right? Like, like some, I don't know, something like that. And like his intuition is trying to come through and tell him like, no, there's no potential long-term with women like that. But he's listening to this, this fake friend or fake family member. And he's like, okay, I guess this is my type. But it's like, his soul does not want that. His soul is desiring someone who's just as passionate and driven as him someone who's going to match that emotional depth and that loyalty um, and that drive. And the sad thing is she's convincing him that he's not that person either. Not only is this woman convincing him that, that a woman with depth and integrity and loyalty and, uh, you know, honesty, like someone who's real, like she convinces him that a woman who's real like that is probably just dramatic and overly emotional and, um, we've gotten this in past readings recently too. Like she, like she has it, like she's like planted, it's like inception. Like she's planted this, these false ideas in this man's head of like, you know, you go for a woman like that, like it's, it's not going to work out or you're going to, you know, butt heads or, or she's going to be all drama. She's going to make your life hard, but it's, it's not the case. Um, and she couldn't be speaking from her own experience and not, it's, it's like, she doesn't know what she's talking about. But the really sad thing is, is that not only has she made him confused and almost made him like see someone who's, who's honest and real as toxic and outspoken or, or whatever, or dramatic. Um, like I said, it's like, he, like she's made him feel like someone who's, who's strong minded is, is just all drama except for, which is odd because she's like that. So it's like, okay, everyone, but you, like, you're not toxic though. You're, you're, you're like that too, but you're, you're the one that's not toxic. I don't think so. Uh, um, the really sad thing though, is not only has she distorted his perception and kind of confused him about who he is and what he really genuinely wants long-term in a relationship, 
because if he actually does some soul searching, like if he distances himself from people like her, maybe even not cut her out, but just at least get some distance from her and really do some soul searching and, and develop his own intuition, he's going to be shocked. He's going to be like, holy shit. Like I, like I was told that this was my type, these, these insecure, weak-minded girls were my type, but it's actually not. Like I want someone who's passionate. I want someone who has that depth. I want someone who's got my back. I want that strong support system. Like I want more than what I'm used to. Like he's going to recognize that if he really stops listening to her and stops listening to like fake toxic people in his life and really listens to, to himself, to his own soul. Um, the sad thing is though, too, it's like, not only has she kind of fucked up his perception and made him doubt genuine real connections and made him like kind of pushed him towards fake temporary connections, but she's also made him feel insecure. Like he wouldn't be enough for a woman like that. And that's not the case. That's actually not the case. Um, this man does have depth. He does have, um, he does have a lot of empathy. He does have a very strong drive. He is very passionate. Um, and I, I just feel like I said, it's like, she dims his light. This, this fake friend or family member has dimmed his light. So he can't see those things in himself anymore. It's, and she's done it like almost systematically over time where he doesn't even realize it's her doing it or he doesn't even know. It's like she plants these little seeds one by one over, over the course of months or even years to the point where he doesn't even recognize that so much of his self-doubt is coming from her. Um, he needs to, he's got to wake up. He's got to, she's going to fuck his entire life up if he doesn't wake up, honestly. She's going to block so many good things from coming into his life if he does not wake up. So I really hope that this man does wake up. But, um, yeah, it's really sad because it's, it's almost like, like if there is like a woman that would like match him, that would have that depth and that empathy. She, like, like I said, not only does she convince him that someone like that is dramatic or not good for him for this reason or that, but she also tries to convince him that, that he wouldn't be enough for her. And I feel like she does it in such a way that it's like very subtle. Like, cause of course, like if he, if she went up to him and she was like, Oh, like, you know, you're not good enough for that woman, like, or whatever. Like, he's just gonna be like, well, fuck you. Like, he's, you know, he's gonna be defensive. But I think she does it in a way where it just like plant, like I said, it plants these little seeds in his head over time where he's too insecure to go for a woman like that. But that woman is actually his match. Like this man doesn't know who he is fully. He doesn't recognize that he actually is an old soul. He does have that emotional depth, that passion. He is her match. He is, he's meant for higher level love, whether it's friendship or romantic relationships, whatever, like all of that. He's meant for more. Um, if he just stops letting this woman keep him in this little low vibrational box down here, there's, there's something else that's waiting for him here. If he's willing to take that leap of faith and go towards the unknown, there's something really beautiful here for him. Um, I, I feel like she probably... I feel like she probably plays on like his abandonment issues and his insecurities. Like, like, oh, I bet that woman would just leave you. Like, I bet she would just break your heart in the end or she would disappoint you or it's like she knows that he has abandonment issues. So she like, she, she manipulates it so that she can play on those abandonment issues and make him like doubt himself, make him doubt good things in his life, make him doubt, you know, positive connections in his life. Because I don't, I don't feel like this woman, this queen of cups, I don't feel like she would abandon him. I actually feel like she would genuinely love him. Like they would genuinely love each other, whether it's as friends or as more than friends. I, I feel like there would be genuine support, genuine abundance. There's, I almost get like a heart chakra opening. Like there's like a very, something very real about the two of them together. If they explore that. Um, it's like, there's something very, how do I explain it? It's like, there's, I, I see like a light. It's like, it's like, there's this light and there's these people and this, all this bullshit that's like clouding it and trying to block it. But there's these, this light between these two people. And if they were to actually like come together, like merge, I feel like, I feel like that light would like, it's it, like amplified, be like, and it, it would just, 
like that light would shine even brighter. You know what I mean? Like she would bring out his light. He would bring out her light. Like maybe their light is dimmed a little bit right now. Maybe her light's dimmed. Maybe his light's dimmed. But like together, it's like they would have, they would like support each other and bring out each other's light even further. And, you know, a queen of swords, like, you know, that, that toxic friend or family member or someone who's low vibrational is like, like that does not like light. They do not like someone's light and empathy and depth. They like to keep things in the shallow end, easy to control. Um, Hmm. Yeah, this man, you, you, this man really needs to be smart and not go to this woman for advice. She's going to give you bad advice. She will give you bad advice again and again and again. She will give you bad advice that will suit her own ad agenda. It's not for your benefit. It's it's for her. It's for her, what she wants for you, what she wants for this man, what, how she wants to control him. This queen of swords will keep him blocked as long as she's allowed to. It's a karmic lesson for him, too. Is he going to break free of this? Is he going to stand up for himself and evolve and develop his intuition um, and have everything that he wants in life? Or is he going to stay? <coughs> oh, sorry. She could even be blocking his throat chakra, too, as well. <coughs> or is he going to stay stuck? It's up to him if he wants to, to take that leap of faith. Um yeah wow i'm just seeing what else i can feel of it because i know there's more information but i think maybe it's like it'll come through at a later date i just keep feeling like he's gonna like want to go to her for advice about something and it's a really bad idea because she's gonna discourage him like he needs to just do what he wants to do and not get advice from toxic people it's like i feel like he's either gonna go to like he's thinking about like going to it for her to her for advice like should I pursue this queen of cups? Should I ask her on a date? Or it could be like a business plan too. Like, should I invest in this, in this, in stocks? Or should I, should I, uh, take this class? Or should I, um, should I make this next move in my career or something like that? You know what I mean? I, I just think she's going to give him bad advice. Um, Hopefully this man learns the karmic lesson and, and wraps this cycle up so that he can really, you know, be the person his soul wants him to be. So he can, because he does have that depth. He honestly does, like, like I said, it's like this woman tries to convince him that he wouldn't be enough for this queen of cups. He, she tries to, she finds this, like, queen of swords finds very, like, manipulative, subtle ways to convince him that he would not be enough long-term for this queen of cups that this queen of cups would leave him or hurt him or something would happen, but it's not the case. It's not reality. It's not the truth. Um, again, she's playing on his insecurity. She's playing on his abandonment issues and she's just doing it in very subtle ways. I think this man needs to think more highly of himself too, because it really feels like, it, it's almost like she projects this onto him too because I feel like this queen of swords is very shallow and very fake and almost like she wants her friends to be like that too or she wants to it's like she knows that there's a lot more to him she knows that he's more advanced than her that he's an older soul than she is but she doesn't like it and she doesn't want him to recognize that about himself she wants him to stay at her level she doesn't want him to like see this in himself but I think the Queen of Cups already sees it in him intuitively. I think she already knows these things about him. She already knows that there is more depth to him than what is seen on the surface what, or what seems to be apparent. She knows that there's more depth. She knows that he's an older soul. Um, there's She can feel that. She can sense that in him. The sad thing is, it's like, I really don't think he even sees it in himself, though. I don't. I don't think he recognizes that he has that emotional depth. Because he hasn't had a chance to explore that side of himself because he's been around people like this Queen of Swords for so long. He hasn't gotten that chance to really like, you know, dive into that other those other aspects of his personality. He hasn't ever had anyone that, that's like brought out those sides of himself before, I don't think. Um Because it's there. Because I'm, I'm hearing someone say, like, what if it's not there? What if it's, like, an illusion? It's like, no, it's there. Like, it's there. 
I can sense it. I can I can channel well enough. I know. If it's not there, I'm not going to say it's not there. It's there. This man has the depth. He doesn't know he has the depth, but he has that depth. He has it. It's something that has to be like, he has to grow though. Because like I said, it's like something that he's going to have to, it's unfamiliar territory to a, to an extent to him. Um, but there, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of empathy there. There's, there's a lot of, uh, his soul is trying to come through. His soul is trying to, his soul is fighting with his ego right now, basically. His soul is trying to spiritually lead him, spiritually guide him to the right people, the right places, the right things, the right opportunities. It's, it's up to this man if he's going to be led by ego 100% or is he going to let his soul come through and align with his higher self, with his soul and let his soul guide him and, and develop that intuition and, and explore these other aspects of himself. Queen of Cups would also not be attracted to someone who does not have that depth. It's it's like it's intuitive. It's you, old souls are attracted to other old souls. Like if you're you're not an old soul is not going to be attracted to a young soul. It's just like it's never going to happen. Honestly, it just doesn't happen. Like like it, it won't there will not be the physical attraction there. There will not be the emotional or mental attraction there. There'll be nothing there. Like if if. If these two people are drawn together, if they're attracted to each other, there is something deeper there. There, These are two old souls, even if one of them's not fully aware of it. Um, tell me more about this. What else do we need to know about this? So this man needs to trust what this Queen of Cups sees in him, even if he can't yet see it in himself. He will see it in himself. If he goes down the path, like if he, if he, you know, again, if he's in alignment with his higher self, he, he will see it in himself over time. But again, it, it is, it is something that has to be developed at the same time too, though. Like I said, it's like, it, it is unfamiliar territory for him. Eight of Wands, the Hierophant. Son of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. I also feel like this man is worried that he doesn't know how to be loyal, but I think he does know how to be loyal. He just doesn't want to be. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say it like that. <laughs> um... He has more willpower than he recognizes, I think. He has, um... He needs support. He just needs more support in his life. Sorry, bear with me, guys. Because the higher font can be like traditions, commitment, but it's also like higher education. It's higher learning. I could see this as like spiritual learning as well. Like there is a spiritual awakening that wants to come in for this man if he allows it. And it's honestly a really beautiful thing. Like it might, yeah, like spiritual awakenings can be intense at times, but they're actually really beautiful. Like they're very healing. They're very um, pure, very high vibrational. Like it's, it's a very good energy. You have to, sometimes you have to force yourself out of your perspective too, because it's like, when you, how do I explain this? You have to learn to be open-minded and see from other perspectives. That's part of having that empathy for people is understanding. Even if you don't resonate with another perspective, like you have to be able to see other perspectives too. You know, it's not just about you. You have to see multiple, per, per, mul ah, multiple perspectives. <laughs> um, I just feel like this man needs to get out of his head because he's trapped in this one perspective and it's like he's meant for so much more. He needs to get himself out of his head. I feel like this man like spirals, like he overthinks or he gets like stuck on certain things or he like assumes things and he just like holds on to his assumptions or to other people's assumptions. Like, because I'm seeing someone, this man is very spiritual deep down, but he doesn't know it yet or he hasn't full, his soul is spirit, is his soul is spiritual. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's like, like I said, he's an old soul, but it's, it's like. 
his spiritual side is wanting to be developed. Like his higher self is wanting this for him, is wanting more for him, more than what he's used to, more than what he's experienced. I think part of the issue though, is he doesn't fully know what that looks like because he's had these people around him, these fake shallow people who have like kind of, he hasn't been able to get past that. He hasn't been, you know what I mean? It's like, he doesn't know what, it's like very unfamiliar to him. Um, but I'm just getting like, you need to, like this man needs to like get out of this mentality, this perspective. It's like a very limited perspective that he's been stuck in. And his spirit guides are kind of like pushing him to like open his mind, to expand, to explore, to evolve more. You know what I mean? Like, don't just stay trapped in that one little, that one little perspective. It's kind of like what I was getting in that last video. It's like, don't be that, that sea lion that stays in the little bathtub its whole life because it's afraid of what's in the ocean. The ocean is its home. The ocean is where it's meant to be. The ocean is where, where the fish are. I don't know. <laughs> the ocean is, is where it's at, you know, all up on the ocean. I don't know. Anyway, what I feel though, it's, it's like, it is a process for this man, like getting in touch with this side of himself, exploring this side of himself. But he does have it in him. I just feel like the people around him have made him feel like he can't be loyal or like he can't open his heart or like he can't be a certain way. And it's not the truth. It's only his one limited perspective that he's gotten stuck in. There's see other perspectives, see other open your mind. This man, it would take work, it would take willpower, but this man is capable of opening his heart. This man is capable of loyalty and stability. Um, this man is is needs to think more highly of himself. Um, he's a lot stronger than he realizes. He doesn't see himself as a strong person. I think he sees himself as someone who gives into temptation very easily, but it, it's not, and that might be the case in, in the past, but I mean, there's a lot of potential here for him to evolve and grow spiritually and develop that willpower and actually be loyal and stable with the right person or the, or the right people in general. Like there, there's potential here for him to have much deeper connections, much more intimate connections than what he's used to. I'm even getting like with sex, like there's a p potential here to like have like a sexual connection with someone too that's – um like more romantic and emotional, more intimate than maybe what he's had in the past. Like there's, there's, there's good relationships here in store for him, for him. There's potential in store for him, but if he's willing to, you know, open his mind here, not let toxic people hold him back or make him doubt himself or make him doubt his connections or make him feel insecure. Like he, there's love here. There's, there's really good energy here for him. If he chooses to go down that path and have that abundance. Two of swords is a block. What's that about? Seven of cups. The fool, the world. Yeah, I feel like, I feel, again, I feel like this, this, person confusing him has caused these blocks like again her putting these ideas ideas in his head over time these little insecurities like feeding off his abandonment issues having him play it small you know finding subtle ways to convince him not to go after what he really wants not to tune into who he really is it's like it's made him feel like he's in the dark like there's like this illusion this cloud around him this this block this he's blindfolded um It's like he's really been kept in the dark for too long. Hmm. With the fool here, though, that's a new start. The world is completing cycles. The star is healing. So I almost feel like it's like if he can get past this illusion, past the blockages, past all the bullshit, all the surface level stuff, if he can dive deeper you know, again, expand his mind, opened his mind up. There is a new start here. There is old cycles, old chapters, old ways of being, old ways of thinking that are wrapping up. Um, he can heal that side of himself. He can heal those patterns if he chooses to. I feel like his willpower is, he feels like he doesn't have strong willpower because he's been around people that convince him he doesn't have strong willpower. Does that make sense? It's like he's been around people that like, 
maybe they see him a certain way and he needs people to like believe in him more a little bit you know it's like so i just get something about like like he doesn't know if he could like be loyal to someone but i really feel like he could um or he doesn't know if he could like be that deep but like he is that deep he is if he allows himself to explore it and, and be and and dive into that part of himself and explore that part of himself like i said it's it's a process there's like a healing process that comes into play too and like ending old cycles you know healing like we've gone in in like other videos like healing can be messy it's not like linear it's like healing is like you know some days you feel like garbage other days you feel really happy it's like it's it's you know it's a process but there there is that potential for for healing for a new perspective new mindset for a more open more spiritual mindset um for him to see the side of himself that like, you know, maybe he just didn't see before. I'm hearing that, that song, uh, Hoobastank, The Reason Is You. Like, I'm not a perfect person. There's many things I wish I didn't do, but I continue learning. Um, and I, I have no idea. I forget the rest of the lyrics, but, <laughs> but, but, um, I found a reason to start over new and the reason is you. So it's like, I think he just needs like friends or even, even like a lover, or whoever, just people in his life that like see the good in him. But if he stays around all the people, it's like, they're not, it's not that they don't see the good. It's like, they don't, they don't resonate with that kind of depth and intensity and emotion themselves. So, so how are they going to see it in him when they don't even have it in themselves? You know, he needs I mean, I think he should be around people that like bring out the, the, these other sides of him. Um, let's wrap this reading up because it's gone on pretty long. So but yeah, I mean, I can't reiterate enough though. Like do not tell this, this queen of swords that wants to keep you stuck. If you're this man, do not tell her if you're planning on doing something, if you're planning on asking someone out, if you're planning on making a move, if you're planning on making a career move or making an investment, don't go to her for advice. Like I cannot reiterate it enough. Like she will always give you bad advice. She will always say something to, to keep you stuck in that little box that she wants you to stay in. She will, you know what I mean? Like you, if you want out of that box then you, you've got to stop going to her for advice, even if it's hard. You need to listen to yourself more. You need to develop your intuition more. And I'm almost feel like there's been so much illusion, so much cloud, so like this cloudiness around this man that it's like he doesn't even know how to listen to his intuition. He doesn't know how to listen to himself because he has all these other voices in his head, all these other opinions and thoughts from other people. And it's it's like he really needs to like step back and find himself, explore himself. Um Like, don't let this toxic woman sabotage a really good love opportunity or career opportunities or whatever you got going on. It's like, don't let her get in the way. You know, be smarter than that. Be more intuitive than that. Set boundaries and stand up for yourself. Stand up for the person that you're becoming. Because this woman doesn't have his back. She, she, this, this queen of swords doesn't really have his back. I mean, it's, she gives off the appearance of having his back and she does to a degree. Like they, they are, you know, there is something there, but I feel like there's deep down. It's like, she doesn't, she's not deep enough to have his back. She's not, there's, you know what I mean? It's like, there's, there, there's a, a disconnect. Yeah. He needs to stand up for himself. He might need to look at childhood patterns as well. Um, hermit, Six of Cups is like childhood. It can be innocence childhood. There's, there's like this hermit energy, which is like soul searching. Look at childhood patterns that could relate to third parties and heartbreak. And yeah, that's part of, part of how you get your wish fulfillment too, is like looking at yeah, truth and clarity. This man needs to find that truth and clarity. He doesn't have to repeat those patterns. He doesn't have to repeat those cycles with everyone. He doesn't have to... His abandonment issues don't need to control his life. These these toxic third parties don't need to control his life. I wonder if it could be saying for some that this woman could even be like like maybe similar to his mother for someone. Not for everyone, but for some. 
also possibly walking away from being the king of swords like opening his heart up again yeah being the wow do you see that oh you didn't see that <laughs> you partially saw that sorry i'm just like going on over here um look at this eight of cups is walking away but what is he walking away from he's walking away from being the king of swords king of swords in this context i mean it can be good because it like king of swords can be logical but it's also someone who's always like thinking with their head over their heart and he can build something here where he can actually like heal these childhood patterns look at these childhood patterns and be the king of cups like like it's safe for this man to love but he has to use more discernment with who he's opening up to but he has a chance here he has a really beautiful opportunity that like some people don't even get this opportunity you know what i mean like some people don't i don't want to say they don't get this opportunity it's like yeah you can you can push for it but there's like a spiritual energy around i guess is what i'm saying like you can't really force yourself to have a spiritual awakening if that energy isn't available for it. Like it's, it's more difficult. Like, I guess you could try to push for it, but it's like, this man has that energy just like available to him. Like he doesn't even see it. It's like this, like invisible, like buffet that's like right in front of his face and he's not seeing it. Like he's got everything. He's got like true love and money and success and abundance and, and power and, um, being a genuine King of Cups. Like, like he has like good energy around him. He has like spiritual awakening. He has his soul trying to come into alignment and and just all this potential for these great, beautiful life changes if he takes it. So like, I mean, if you're this man, I wouldn't really wait on this because these opportunities that are like right in front of your face, if you don't see them, it's like sometimes you lose them. You know what I mean? Like sometimes they kind of fade away. It's It's like when you have that abundance, that opportunity, that all this good energy at your disposable, oh my God, all this good energy at your disposal, like just right in front of your face, like you want to use that. You want to use that good energy to make these changes, you know? Because like I said, you have a chance to walk away from being in this king of swords mentality and building something and becoming a king of cups and having your wish fulfillment here and breaking old cycles and old patterns and actually having something new um, in love, in career, in pretty much everything. So anyway, um, I'm going to put this out there for you guys and I hope it resonates. Thank you for watching.